Hello, this is Alex from the Advent Label Applicator Company. This is going to be a demonstration of the 302. We were given samples to label this tat stick product. And with this recessed panel area, it works fantastic. As far as the label will go on, the machine could be adjusted. But we have three big issues. And these are all related to your labels. First, um, your labels were done very very poorly first of all they didn't remove the um the excess material between each label so you have this little piece that wasn't weeded correctly so those are going to have to be removed you could do those by hand which we've done here so i'm going to do two of them here and then we've done some so we should be able to run about 10 or about well eight containers however the two bigger issues and the major issue is that the labels were die cut very, very poorly. They were die cut too deep. So the liner material continues to break. And you can simply test this by, uh, you could obviously see it in person, but on the camera, I took a Sharpie and you can see we have this line that absorbs the ink. That's die cutting that's been done too deep. And even though the 302 could be adjusted as far as the tension, it's just impossible to get this to run consistently as it goes over the peel bar. It's going to break. So you have to get a roll of labels that, it, that is done correctly. The webbing removed, um, the weeding removed, the die cut, it should just be a kiss cut. It should not, any good label printer will prevent that from happening. And then the other issue was that your label printer and again, it's rare to see this, but very, very poorly done. He didn't use a single core, fiber core, to match the width of the labels. So um, um, he actually, they gave you two small pieces. We actually had to push one out to get good um, purchase on the mandrel. But that should just be one continuous piece. So that, we managed to work around that, but it, that still shouldn't be done. It's also very, very rare that a label printer will have all this excess material, this webbing on the side. It really doesn't matter, um, but it's a little strange to have that too. So um, we're gonna try to run some right here. It might, it's been breaking on us and there's really nothing we could do for it. The, the roll of labels just isn't workable as is. But I'm just gonna show you that you would simply insert and we have our guides to simply tap and you can see here that label goes on very very nicely you have good clearances which is fantastic there's no taper to worry about good overlap on the label no bubbles or wrinkles so it looks fantastic will work great probably average 20 containers a minute comfortably but you just have to have these labels done correctly so i'm just going to try to do some many as possible um, if you're willing to nurse it and deal with the um, liner breaking you could certainly go ahead and try to go forward with the machine but again uh, I would highly recommend talking to your label um, printer and getting those things um, fixed and those are actually mistakes that shouldn't be done Seem to be doing pretty good here. Um, you can see here the I forgot to remove that um, weeding, so it will probably become a problem now. Okay, and then this might be the one where it starts. Nope, still good. So I managed to do um, 12 containers. Um, you can see they look really, really good. Again, it's a great application for the 302. Um, ideally, you just need to get the labels fixed. Um, again, you could probably nurse it, so your label guy would just have to um, peel this webbing, this weeding excess material away as you're running the machine, and you could go from there. But again, those are these tat sticks doing, being labeled with the Advent 302. Thank you.